Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. On the evening of December 23rd, exactly one year to the day since the current summit eruption sequence began, Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano delivered a dramatic holiday display. Episode 39 erupted with towering lava fountains reaching up to 1,400 feet or 425 meters, illuminating the night sky over Halimamu's crater in a very spectacular that lasted nearly six hours. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. It's Christmas Eve and I want to wish everyone a very merry and blessed Christmas. Thank you very much for stopping by once again and I humbly ask that you like, share, and subscribe. The eruption kicked off at approximately 8.20 p.m. Hawaii time following a brief precursor lava overflow earlier that evening. Lava burst from both the north and south vents on the crater floor with the south vent producing the highest fountain of 1,400 feet while the north vent reached about 900 feet alongside a smaller 100, maybe a 200-foot fountain. At its peak around 9 o'clock p.m., effusion rates hit 960 cubic yards per second, or 800 cubic meters per second, rapidly spreading molten lava across the crater. By the time the activity abruptly ceased at 2.13 a.m. on Christmas Eve, December 24th, an estimated 12 million cubic yards or 9.3 million cubic meters of lava had been erupted, covering 50 to 60 percent of Halimamu's floor. The north vent stopped first at 2 a.m., followed by the south vent shortly after. And as of Christmas Eve morning, no active fountains are remaining, you know, showing any type of an eruption though incandescent and cooling lava flows persisted in the crater. This episode was remarkable not just for its timing, but its intensity. According to the U.S. Geological Survey Hawaii Volcano Observatory, fountain heights quickly escalated from its initial low level to over 1,000 feet within hours, producing a volcanic plume rising up to 20,000 feet. All activity stayed within uh, the Hawaii Volcano National Park, posing no threat to nearby communities, infrastructure, or airports. The ongoing eruption, which began on December 23rd, has been characterized by these intermediate episodes, pulses, 38 prior episodes from the same twin vents, separated by phases lasting days to weeks as magma pressure rebuilds beneath the sum summit. Its arrival on the exact anniversary added a poetic touch described by some as nature's fireworks for the holidays. Over the past year, Kilauea has poured out billions of gallons of lava, building a thick wedge of new rock in Halimamu's crater and drawing thousands of visitors to safe viewing areas in the national park. Hazards during active phases, including high volcanic gas emissions, primarily SO2, creating what they call VOG downwind, and the potential for Pili's hair, fine strands of volcanic gas, or glass, excuse me, carried by winds. During its last eruption, there was balls of Pili's hair the size of baseballs. HVO scientists, including Ken Hong, called this one one of the most fascinating summit eruptions in decades, with unique patterns not seen since the 1980s. There are no immediate signs of the sequence will end soon. Phases typically allow pressure to rebuild, setting the stage for the next episode, possibly in about two weeks. For real-time views, you can check the USGS webcam or live streams at YouTube. Kilauea reminds us once again of Earth's raw power. And this on Christmas Eve. It's gifted the world an unforgettable glow. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I really ask you humbly to subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed.
As always, be prepared for any type of disaster. And I will talk to you later. Merry Christmas to all.